Hello and welcome to the Dolly Drive Tutorials. Today I'm going to be going over the Getting Started video. We're going to find out how to find the right account for you, how to sign up with Dolly Drive, and how to download Dolly Drive. We're also going to do a quick overview of how to work the clone. So finding the right plan for you. First thing you're going to need to know is how much space you're going to require to do the backup. Open up your finder, select your hard drive, and right click. Press the Get Info option. On my machine, 226 gigs are used. My capacity is 250. Now I'm going to go to the Dolly Drive website to see what kind of plans will work for me. Click the Pricing and Plans tab to see the account types. Please make a note that there are more plans available at this time, but for tutorial purposes, I'm going to select Buy Now on the 250GB plan. Now you need to go through the process of putting in your information. Once you fill out the form and populate the information, press Purchase. It will then send you to a confirm purchase page where you will need to confirm your purchase. Press confirm purchase. Now the purchase was successful. You will now need to check your email for the email confirmation. Now I'm going to access my email. found the Dolly Drive account confirmation email. Let's go ahead and select Access Dolly Drive. This will bring me to the page where I can download Dolly Drive by pressing this download link. Click and unzip. Drag to my applications. And now it's in my applications folder. Okay, so now I'm gonna open my applications and open up Dolly Drive. I'm gonna log in with my Dolly Drive credentials. I'm going to press add Dolly now. Now I'm going to quickly open up the Dolly Drive Inclusion Assistant to select the items I want to back up. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off so I can begin the clone before I start the cloud backup. So I went ahead and plugged in my external drive. Now I'm going to hit the new clone button. I'm going to pick my internal drive as the source, press next, and my destination drive as the clone. I'm going to hit continue, and it's going to ask me for my computer password. and now the clone is initiated. Once the clone is done, I'll be able to hit the backup now button and begin my cloud backup. I hope this video was helpful. I'm Travis and I'll see you next time.